Okay, well, we're back with the uh, Toronado since we took our detour with the charger trying to get that to run on a drag strip. Because um, today we're doing something that's actually really driveable is we're changing this. And the alternator is just not putting out any voltage. It's putting out 12 volts. Usually, and uh, I can show you, I'm going to show you the uh, voltage. And uh, usually when the regulators go bad, you get a spike of like 15, 16 volts because it's just grounds it completely. But uh, I'm going to show, you know, I'm going to start it up and show you the no voltage in it and then we're going to change it out. Okay, so the battery has 12.48 uh, volts sitting here. And I've grounded out the other side of the um, field, so it should be full field. So that thing should be putting out 16 volts when I start this. It's gonna, let's take a looky here. So there you go. It uh, it has it doesn't have any voltage at all. It actually, was going it went less. So that's that's doing nothing. We're gonna change it out with a remanufactured one and uh, we'll rock and roll. For some reason, it just seems kind of weird. That's that's not good. That's not good at all. It's the wrong alternator. It's the wrong alternator. <sighs> so, what we have here, after many minutes of working on this, is that this alternator is incorrect. This is, this is another thing that's just absolutely, just, just an absolute curse on our, this is an absolute curse in our society. So, this is how our alternators are put together wrong. When the backings were put on, See the, the hole, the big hole there? It's right near the stud. Well, this one's upside down. Literally, it's it's completely not only, it, it, this, this was put on wrong. And this is what you get now when you try to buy parts. You get, you get stuff like this. This is from Napa. Yeah, so. So now I have to run back to Napa and get a uh, new alternator. Great. Well, uh, as usual now with, you know, society and the way things are done, uh, I can't get an alternator that actually fits this car. See how the orientation of this is? The lug is right near where the uh, mounting stud is, not the adjustment. Yeah. So, they have, Napa has this one alternator listed for this car, and all of them are clocked wrong. I probably could take the body apart and turn it around, but do I really want to do that on a brand new alternator or a brand new manufactured 
that, you know, if something's wrong, I can't bring it back because, oh, you've done something to this. I'm not, I'm not really keen on that. So what we're going to have is take it to a local place here that rebuilds these things for a living and just have them rebuild this one or the original one and be done with it because, uh, you know, that rebuild, manu remanufactured one, Heche in Mexico, might have been okay for a while, but remember when they repair them, they only replace what's bad on them. They don't fix the whole thing. So, oh well. But, you see the car does run, still runs. It's just, uh, yeah, this is, this is the problem now when you're trying to restore any, any old car. And actually, anything like over, over 10 years old, you can have the same problems where you just you find stuff that's manufactured poorly and uh yeah this has been um a sucky experience just absolutely so i hope you got something out of this i i did that uh, i should have just gone and uh come earlier in the week and go when the uh, local place was open and have them rebuild it and do it right and uh not try to screw around with these box store uh remodels or remanufactures yeah so well if you got anything you're gonna hit like subscribe share do those things comment because i love hearing your comments on this because uh i just am getting tired of not being able to buy the right parts anymore it's, it's so frustrating i mean it's a, it's a general motors literally it's a general motors car and i can't get the right alternator straight out of the box Oh well. And remember, if you have a cool old car or something fun, take it down the uh, take it out because you make someone's day. Maybe in your own. We'll see you soon.